Welcome back. Without abortion here, Wisconsinites are left traveling to neighboring states like Illinois and Minnesota where abortion is still protected. Groups are helping pay for transportation, medication, and even child care. But now, Talil Mohideen reports how they're now asked to step up in even more ways. Immediately after the Supreme Court ruled to overturn almost 50 years of precedent, leaders from Midwest Access Coalition say the calls kept pouring in. All through the weekend were folks, especially folks from Wisconsin, that knew, okay, couldn't have my appointment on Friday, I won't be able to have it in the future, it looks like, and I need a plan to go to a different clinic. The group, which offers abortion seekers help with child care and travel expenses, went from getting about 120 calls a month to 600 in less than a week. They, along with Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin, forced to expand their existing framework. People were already facing difficulties in accessing care, whether it was paying for the care or transportation. But with a sudden growth in the list of people who can't access abortion, so does the cost needed to help out. Not being able to stay within the state and be there, but now you have to go to Minneapolis. Now you have to go to Chicago. And MAC Director of Programs Marie Kahn doesn't expect the demand for emergency assistance, even with abortion pills, to decrease anytime soon. Regularly have folks who will contact us who are like, I found out I'm 15 weeks pregnant. That's not going to change when we don't have access to actual, you know, medicine, rural medicine in spaces for folks to get pregnancy care, to get ultrasound readings. Abortion support groups left planning for unknowns. This will be a changing legal landscape for some time to come. Um, and that for, you know, we don't know for how long. And worried about the future. People are going to be not be able to get their abortion and are going to be forced to stay pregnant. And what are we going to do with that? And again, that's Khalil Mohadeen reporting.